Part of the reason we've been able to do 10 albums, you know, and not really be, you know, be superstars or anything like that is, is that we've never allowed ourselves to be subsidized. Bob Seger is a famous American musician, songwriter, guitarist, keyboard player, pianist, and singer. You've probably heard about him for his album Night Moves, which was one of his most successful albums. He was a successful Detroit-based local singer and songwriter before he entered the national music scene in the United States. The singer's probably best known for his raspy voice and blue-collar-themed lyrics, and Seeger rose to fame in the 1970s. Old-time rock and roll and Against the Wind are some of his most popular songs, other than Night Moves. Seeger's won several awards during his career, including a Grammy for Best Rock Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocal back in 1980. He also won a CMT Music Award for CMT Performance of the Year back in 2015. He was also nominated for an Oscar in 1987 and a Golden Globe in 1988. I've seen a lot of bands go up fast and go down fast because they, they go in debt to people and then people start calling the shots on them and we always wanted to call our own shots. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Robert Clark Seeger, but it's also known as Bob Seeger. He was born May 6, 1945 in Detroit, Michigan, United States, making him 75 at the time of this production. He stands 1.79 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. In 1968, Bob married his girlfriend, Renee Andrietti. However, their marriage was not successful and the couple divorced in 1969 after being married for only one year. Then in 1972, he started dating Jan Densdale and they dated for 11 years. Eventually, the pair broke up in 1983 and Bob married Annette Sinclair in 1987. Unfortunately, this marriage also didn't work and they divorced in 1988. In 1991, Bob met Juanita Doricott and started dating her before they finally married in 1993. The couple lives happily now, and Bob has two children with Juanita, Christopher Cole and Samantha Char. The musician is fairly active on social platforms, and he has a massive number of followers on social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Furthermore, the color of his hair is dark brown and his eyes are light brown. You may also note that in 2004, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and has sold over 50 million albums during his career. He's also revealed that he's a big Jeep fan and he loves to drive his black 2013 Jeep Unlimited Rubicon. And uh, dynamics is, is the word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. He was a big influence on me. Uh, probably the biggest, you know, hard singing and soulful. He was born in Detroit in 1945 he was the second child of his parents. Seeger's father, Stuart Seeger, worked as a medical technician for the Ford Motor Company. The name of his mother is Charlotte, while he also has a brother named George Seeger. Stuart used to play several instruments, and since Bob spent a lot of his time with his dad, he developed a love for music. However, Stuart and Charlotte had a troubled marriage. Bob's father left when Bob was just 10 years old. When Stewart abandoned his family and moved to California, the family struggled financially, and Bob belongs to a mixed ethnic background of English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, German, Manx, remote French, and distant Dutch. As far as education, Bob attended Tappan Junior High School when he lived in Ann Arbor. Then in 1963, he graduated from Pioneer High School, which was called Ann Arbor High School at the time. For one year, the singer went to Lincoln Park High School, He's revealed that Little Richard was his early musical inspiration. Back in the year 1961, Bob formed his first band while he was still in high school. At the time, the band was called The Decibels with schoolmates H.B. Hunter and Pete Stranger. This was the start of his singing career. After he formed the band The Decibels, Bob recorded his first song called The Lonely One. Later, Bob joined a band called The Town Criers. He was the lead vocalist of the band. Other members were Pep Perrine, Larry Mason, and John Fliss. Town Criers soon became a popular band among people. However, Bob left to join a larger band. He joined a band called The Omens, which was headed by Doe Brown, and soon left this band. 
1965, Bob was able to appear on an officially released recording with the Omens band. Edward Andrews approached Brown and Bob and asked them to write a song for Underdogs, a band managed by Edward Punch Andrews. Bob also started to write as well as produce recordings for other bands which were managed by Punch. After this, the singer launched Eastside Sound with The Last Herd. Heavy Music was the most successful production of The Last Herd, which became a top 100 hit in Canada, and was released back in the year 1967. Then he signed with Capitol Records in 1968 and formed the Bob Seger System. Their single Ramblin' Gamblin' Man was a massive hit and people loved it. The second as well as third albums of the band were not as successful and Bob left to pursue a solo career. Unfortunately, his first solo album called Brand New Morning was also a commercial failure. But Bob kept working hard, struggled for a few years before forming the Silver Bullet Band. In 1975, Bob released an album called Beautiful Loser, which was a moderate success and motivated Bob to keep working for that singing career. In 1976, he released Night Moves, which was a commercial smash, and Bob became very popular. Following albums included Stranger in Town and Against the Wind, which were successful. In the 1980s, he released The Distance and Like a Rock. These albums went platinum in Canada as well as the United States, in 2014, Bob released Ride Out, which was loved by his fans. Searching for lyrics that you can sing with conviction, you know, I guess that's what I've been trying to do, you know, more than anything else. Seegers recorded numerous songs that dealt with women, love, and blue-collar themes during his five-decade-long career. His main source of income is singing. Although the singer does come from a very humble background, he's worked very hard to achieve success. Seeger has sold over 50 million albums, and although he mainly accumulated his wealth through singing, he's also a pianist, guitarist, and songwriter. These skills have also helped him add some extra wealth to his account. His net worth is $45 million. The famous rock and roll musician mainly lives at his house in Orchard Lake Village, Michigan. He also owns a mansion on La Playa Lane in West Bloomfield, Michigan, the mansion covers an area of 30,000 square feet where Seeger lives a luxurious life with his family. The complete property is three acres. Bob purchased it for $1.2 million in 2010. As Bob Seeger loves driving and owns some awesome cars, the mansion features a four-car garage. Furthermore, the house has a guest suite studio and a two-bedroom maid's quarters. Overall, the mansion features 14 bathrooms, eight bedrooms, four laundry rooms, three kitchens, 12 air conditioner units, and a massive exercise room. Bob Seeger owns the following cars, a classic 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1, a 2013 Jeep Unlimited Rubicon, a 2011 Porsche Carrera S, A 1954 Ford. And a manual 1976 BMW 530i. 